Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. You would not believe what just happened. I'm here, let's see if we can actually read that sign. I'm here at Finn's and Fang's, and we are just outside of Joshua Tree in Yucca Valley. And as you guys know, I have a fish tank. I've got a 55 gallon fish tank with five, or sorry, four um, really old, five year old goldfish. And I was just thinking, gosh, it gets so gross with uh, the plastic fake plants. And so I wanted to start replanting my tank with some real, real plants. And I came in here and you won't believe what I saw. Well, let's just take a look. I thought my animal room is already so full and I don't have enough space and the rescue's full, but if it was a girl, then it would be okay. And she is. Let's meet her. Oh. When I saw that there was a guinea pig in there, I was like, oh my gosh, because this is a reptile store. So I asked if she was going to be snake food. And they said, no, we're trying to sell her. We would never do that. They do have rabbits for... Uh, feeder rabbits which breaks my heart but you know snakes have to eat something <laughs> it's too bad the whole animal kingdom can't go vegetarian <laughs> but anyways I thought well if this is a boy I don't know what's gonna happen but if it's a girl then she probably could get into the rescue and so I did a little check and she's a girl and oh gosh, I wish I would have shown you what her nails were like. Her nails were probably uh, over half an inch long. I know the lighting is really crappy because this is just, I didn't expect any of this to happen. But look, she's super tiny and are you okay? You just joined the super awesome happy club. So I could do a little health check on her real quick. Hey. The main thing would be listening. Aside from her whining, her breathing seems okay. Let me look at her teeth. Instead of seeing her teeth, I'm just going to have to feel them. Yeah, they feel good. They're all there and they don't seem to be too long. You know, it's like the crappier the video, the more unexpected the situation. I gotta come up with a name for her. Yes, her nails, I just clipped them. The guy actually had a nail clipper because I guess lizards use the same kind of nail clippers that guinea pigs do. Okay, so I've gotta get back home and get her into a safe place. Sweetie. I'm so glad she's a girl, because that means I can take her to the rescue this Saturday, and there will be a home for her. She's very little, she's very young, and she's very lucky. I'm so glad I had my dollar store carrier. This carrier was like $4 at the dollar store. But I always leave it in my car just in case. So, let's go home. So here they are, fins and fangs. They were really nice. They were really nice to let me have this girl and take her to the rescue. Hi. How are you? Oh. I got a new a new place set up for you. You want to check it out? Don't be scared, baby. <sighs> Not as much space as I wish I could give her, but she's only going to be here until Saturday. Yes, there's other piggies around, but I have to hide you from them. Because they're a bunch of boys. And there 
already starting to figure it out. You're in a room full of piggies. Come here. What's that? Big pile of hay. You hear the piggies? You got a, a food bowl. She's so precious. Maybe that should be her name, Precious. She's really skinny. No boys. Don't even think about it, boys. Hey! Nate! Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> Who's here? You're already a Papa Popeye. Who's here, Ron? <laughs> Don't even think about it. Okay, so we've got it covered over. Do you feel safe now? Safe from those pesky boys. You got some privacy. What's that on your nose? Well, you settle in, little precious. And I'm gonna get you some water, okay? So now I have a new foster girl for the rest of the week. But hopefully with a little luck, she'll be able to get into the rescue this weekend. I'm gonna have to pull some heart strings, I guess. Let's see what I can do. I guess it comes down to a cute picture and a sob story. <sighs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.